Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about igneous rocks. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine the Earth like a giant oven. Deep inside it, the temperature is so hot that rock melts into a thick, gooey liquid called magma. When this melted rock cools down and becomes solid again, it forms a special type of rock called an igneous rock. Let's learn how igneous rocks form. There are two main ways igneous rocks form. Inside the earth or slow cooling. When magma cools slowly under the ground, it forms igneous rocks with big visible crystals. An example is granite, which you might see on kitchen countertops or building tiles. Because the cooling is slow, the crystals have a lot of time to grow. Outside the earth or fast cooling. Sometimes magma reaches the surface through a volcano. When the volcano erupts and the magma reaches the surface, it becomes lava. When lava cools quickly on the surface, it forms igneous rocks with tiny or no crystals. An example is basalt, which many roads and pavements are made of. Fast cooling doesn't give crystals time to grow. How to spot an igneous rock? It may have crystals that sparkle. It can be black, gray, white, or even pink. Some look smooth while others look speckled. Now here are fun facts about igneous rocks. There's an igneous rock called obsidian that looks like shiny black glass. Ancient people used obsidian to make very sharp tools. The ocean floor is mostly made of basalt, an igneous rock. The word igneous comes from the Latin word ignis, which means fire, because these rocks come from melted rock. Some igneous rocks form so fast during volcanic eruptions that they trap air bubbles inside them, like pumice, a rock that can float on water. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about igneous rocks today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.